You know, I've used Endura products for about 15 years now, and they've really been a great partner in solving problems that I've got on the job site. And one of the issues I've had over the years is when you've got multiple doors, two doors that are coming together, I've seen a lot of panel deflection and air infiltration in those areas. That area where they come together is commonly referred to the, as the astragal. And Endura, of course, has a great solution for that. I'm here with Kelsey. Kelsey, tell me uh, what your solution is for these issues on the astragal. Right, so our solution is called the multi-point astragal. This is unlike any other astragal on the market. What this does is it prevents panel deflection, adds a little bit of security, adds two additional locking points, and it also helps to create a tight seal every single time. No leaks, no drafts, no unhappy homeowner. Very cool. Kelsey, would you actually give us a tour on this door of how this system works? Sure thing. All right, so here, my finger is going to simulate the deadbolt. What's great about this product is you can use any standard deadbolt system, so it keeps the cost down, pretty affordable, and mm -hmm. it's easy. So here, I'm going to pretend I'm locking this door. Now see up here, how these things up here are coming out? That's a lock ball. It's going to engage with the keeper on the active panel. It's going to add two sealing points for you to really fight that panel deflection, prevent it from happening, or correct it if it happens. That's really cool. Another great thing that we have, yeah, I like it a lot. So we have our flip lever, and this is really for convenience here. It just makes it so much easier. So typically, if I wanted to open this inactive panel, I'd have to reach way up here, way down here. Mm -hmm. It's pretty tough, especially when you have a tall door like yeah. this. So we have our ultimate flip lever. So what this does, just one easy flip. Wow, that's really nice. So it's doing both of those. And then what's happening at the bottom there at the sill? So, I'm glad you asked. So this is our um, independently uh, operating, we have our floating boot and our flush bolt. And so what I mean by operating independently is that typically, let's say that you drill a hole for your flush bolt mm -hmm. and you don't drill it down far enough. Sometimes it happens. If those things work together and that bolt can't go all the way down, then your boot's not going to form a tight seal on the seal. Right, and then you've got water or air infiltration. Exactly, you've got a gap and then you've got an unhappy homeowner on you on the phone. Right? Absolutely. So, with our floating boot, it goes down on its own. It forms that perfect seal right there, and then on its own, the flush bolt goes down, regardless of, of uh, excuse me, drill hole depth, and then you have that tight seal. That's great. What a great solution. Now, if you're interested in using these products, or if you have this problem on your houses, the way to do it is to talk to your millwork supplier when you're ordering exterior doors and say you're interested in those Endura products, and all they got to do is have that specified, and they'll get those on your, on your job sites. If you'd like more information, you can visit the Endura website. Otherwise, Kelsey and I will see you next time.